Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Beidulaeva and Bukur. This is a game from the Girls World Junior Chess Championship 2022. Anything important happened to you in 2022. Beidulaeva had white pieces and she started with d4. Bukur played d5. c4. The Queen's Gambit. D takes on c4, accepted. Knight to f3, knight to f6, e3, e6, bishop takes on c4, c5, the most played move attacking the white center, Beiduleva castled kingside. C takes on d4, e takes on d4, white has an isolated queen spawn, but this is not a problem. Bishop to d6, knight to c3, Bukur castled kingside 2, bishop to g5, knight from b to d7. This is a classical defense by black. Rook to e1, queen to c7, bishop to b3, a6, queen to d3. White has a simple plan. To create a battery on the long diagonal, and to visit the black king. Will it work? Let's see. h6, asking a question. Bishop to h4, b5, intending bishop to b7. Rook from a to c1, lining the rook with the black queen. Queen to b8, bishop to c2. And now the plan is to remove the defender of the h7 square. b4. Knight to e4, knight takes knight, queen takes knight, g6. Of course, knight to f6 doesn't work because of bishop takes knight and after pawn takes bishop, queen to h7, checkus matus. Back to our game. That is why play with the black pieces played g6. This is the best move by black. But with this move, black created weaknesses on the dark squares. The game continued. Queen to g4. King to g7. Let's take it back. If bishop to b7. One line goes like this. Bishop takes on g6. F takes on g6. Queen takes pawn check. King to h8. Queen takes pawn check. King to g8. Rook takes on e6. And white is easily winning back to our game. That is why play with the black pieces played king to g7. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? How would you continue to attack? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this brilliant rook sacrifice? Rook takes pawn on e6. What a brilliant move. But play with the black pieces did not take the rook. Knight to e5 was split. Let's take it back. If pawn takes rook, what happens then? Then queen takes on g6, check. And after king to h8, queen to h7, check. Mate back to our game. Play with the black pieces, split knight to e5. This is a desperate move to prolong the game. d takes on e5, bishop takes on e6, bishop to f6, check. King to h7, queen to h4, bishop takes on e5, white to move. White played the move and black resigned and the move is knight to g5, check. Play with the black pieces, Buku resigned. For fun, I will show you just one line. King to g8, queen takes on h6, queen to d8, and then white plays the obvious and the obvious is... Queen to g7, check, mate. Wow, what a brilliant Queen's Gambit game. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.